Hello and welcome to another video in our step-by-step -step look at the AQA GCSE Computer Science Specification. We're working our way through Paper 1. I'm Mr Chapman. If you are studying on this course and would benefit from regular videos helping you with the more difficult concepts of it, make sure you subscribe to the channel by hitting the red button down below. And if this video does help you out, pop a like on there for us and we'll make sure we make more videos just like this one. So today we're going to be looking at trace tables. And we use trace tables to test our algorithms for errors of logic. In a trace table, each column contains a variable and each row shows us an input into the algorithm and what the values of those variables should become. So let's have a look at an example. We've got some Python code there, some very simple code, three lines of code. We've got a variable called y that we set to equal to and a variable called x that we also set to equal to and then in our third line we take the y variable and set it to equal the sum of y and x. So if we run that through our trace table we've got the line numbers listed down the left hand side then the values of the y and the x variables. So at line one if we compare that to line one of the python example we know that on line one we're setting y to equal two so on line one of our trace table the value of our y variable is 2 and our x variable doesn't yet have a value. We haven't added a value to that one yet. We move on to line 2 where in our Python example we're setting the value of x to equal 2. We're not doing anything at all to y on that line. So at line 2 y should still equal 2 because that's what we set it to on the previous line. But x now also equals 2 and that's reflected in our trace table. And then on line 3 we set the value of y to equal the sum of y and x. So 2 plus 2, hopefully we all know that equals 4. So on line 3 of our trace table, the value of y becomes 4. The value of x hasn't changed. We didn't do anything to x in that example. So x is still valued at 2. Obviously, when we're looking at larger and more complicated algorithms, the tables become much larger. But the principle of the table is still the same. You have each column containing a variable and the rows telling you the value of the variable for each line of your code. So if you work through it on that basis, you shouldn't go too far wrong. If you found that video helpful, please make sure you pop a like down below for us. Click on my face so you can subscribe to the channel and not miss out on any of our future computer science videos. And I've stuck a couple of videos on screen for you now that might help you out with the rest of your revision. Thanks very much for watching.